in how Americans view China and really Asia overall. Take a look at this Pew Research study. It tracks which area in the world Americans think is the most important to the United States. And in January of 2011, look at what happens. By a 47 to 37 margin, Americans began to believe that Asia is more important to the United States than Europe. Pretty impressive. Now, of course, there are reasons behind that. For answers, we went to the director of Pew's Global Attitudes Research, Richard White. Well, like you said, uh, 2011 was the first time we'd seen this, and we've been asking this question for about two decades. So I think it really is an important finding. And I think in part it reflects the fact that Americans are aware that China, uh, other major Asian nations are growing uh, economically. Uh, their clout in world affairs is growing. Uh, and Americans see that, and looking towards the future, they see that uh, Asia is going to be more and more important to American interest, uh, and, and maybe a little bit more so than Europe has been uh, in the past. You know, it seems like there's this kind of Western prism how some people view China, and, and they look at it from a couple of different standpoints, uh, the debt issue, and then uh, the loss of jobs to China. How many people fall into that category? Is this just a select bunch, or are there a lot of people who view it that way? Mm -hmm. Well, I think economics is the lens for a lot of people uh, when they're looking at China. Uh, they're thinking about economic issues. They're thinking about the economic competition with China. And, uh, you know, jobs, uh, the debt held by China, um, you know, the trade deficit with China, all of these issues, when we ask people, what do you think about, what are you concerned about when you think about China, you know, those are the top things. I want you to talk, if you will, a little bit more as we dig through these numbers, how Asia views uh, China. And just 5% of the people in Japan have a favorable view of China, as you know. 48% in the Philippines, 46% in the ROK or South Korea, 81% in Malaysia. So what's behind the numbers, and might they get better for China over time, do you think? Well, we do see a mix, as, as you're, the numbers you cited pointed out. Uh, we see a mix of views in Asia, you know, Malaysia, Indonesia. If you go to Pakistan, very positive views about, uh, about uh, China. Uh, even in Australia, largely positive views. Uh, where you see more negative views tends to be Japan, uh, South Korea, the Philippines. Uh, places where, for one thing, there have been a lot of territorial disputes uh, with China for a long time, but those have really flared up a lot in the last couple of years. I think you see that reflected in these numbers. You see a lot of concerns about China's military power in those countries. Some insecurity there. Let's talk a little bit more about the world and how the United States is viewed in, in China. Uh, the only place where people like China more than the United States is the Middle East, which I kind of found surprising. It's despite all the Chinese investment in Africa, the average favorability rating of the United States is 63 percent, China just 50 percent. So talk with us about the global perceptions of China. So it varies a little bit depending on where you're looking, but globally what we tend to see is that the U.S. tends to get better ratings. And we ask another question too, uh, do you think of the U.S. or do you think of China as a partner to your country, an enemy or neither one? And when we do that, uh, you know, first of all, we see that very few people think of the U.S. Uh, or China as an enemy around the globe, but they're more likely in general to think of the U.S. as a partner uh, than to say China's a partner to their country. Interesting. Richard White, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.